Hello, volunteer. I want to start off by personally congratulating you for embarking on a CPR and first aid instructor training track to help save lives in your community. I'm going to go over some of the awesome website resources that will be essential in your role as a volunteer with PHSS. The links and website addresses I will be discussing are available in the description section below for you to copy, click, and save as necessary. My name is George Medina. I am the training specialist for the South Florida Territory. Agenda-wise, this video will cover what LAN accounts are, quickly overview each of the essential website functions, demo the Division 5 resource SharePoint site, show you the resources and tools on the Learning Center, highlight the importance of Instructor's Corner, point out how to plug in your availability in the scheduling system, when to work, go over the benefits of our Red Cross Refresher site, talk about our intranet, the exchange, our email accounts, ArcMail, and wrap up with the Instructor Library Portal. Technology is a critical component of maintaining our delicate remote relationship with all our instructors. Implementation of advanced technologies fall in line with the natural trends in academics, businesses, volunteer organizations, as well as the evolution of mobile devices. Ultimately, if you position yourself to practice and learn how to use technology to your benefit, you will be ahead of the game as a Red Cross volunteer instructor. Before I go into site demos, I want to discuss LAN accounts or local area network accounts because in order to access our internal network of web portals, you will need to be assigned the special username and password. Once assigned, the username looks like this, firstname.lastname at redcross.org. Don't confuse your LAN account with your volunteer connection username and password since you can change your username on volunteer connection to whatever you'd like whereas our internal network of sites, which include the Exchange, ArcMail, and SharePoint, require this one particular username to log in. You can request a LAN account from your training specialist or volunteer resources office. On this table, I have a quick overview of all the essential websites, and it's color-coded. Blue are the internal sites that require a LAN account to log in. Red are password protected sites, but they don't require a LAN account to log in, meaning you can choose the username you want. Green means that there's no password required to enter. In the blue section, the first site is the Division 5 Instructor Resource Site, which has links to all the sites on this table, important announcements, and a meetings and event calendar, as well as the latest webinar recording. The next LAN account site is our internal company site or interweb called The Exchange. This is where volunteers can find more information about the different departments of the Red Cross, Red Cross history, policy and procedure handbooks, nationwide announcements, as well as video tutorial. ArcMail is our official Red Cross email account site, which you can use to send and receive emails. The Instructor Library is another LAN account site that contains locally managed archives of job aids, meeting notes, flyers, procedure lists, and quick references of documents. In the red section, you will see When to Work, which is our web-based scheduling system, where you'll see your official schedule of teaching announcements. Also, the Learning Center Saba is where you can find your student and instructor transcripts, as well as download your course rosters. Instructor's Corner is the nationally managed document warehouse of instructor participant materials organized by program specialties. Almost all the literature needed to teach any health and safety course is on there, as well as guidance for how to keep your instructor certifications up to date. Volunteer Connection is available to keep track of your volunteer hours, as well as connect to volunteer opportunities other volunteers as well as use the social integration to connect with Facebook. In the green section, um, which doesn't require a password or username, you'll see our Division YouTube site and it's an archive of all of our webinars which we conduct using an application called WebEx. The Red Cross Refresher site is what we encourage your students to visit post-course to be able to find quizzes, knowledge check, all the course videos, as well as download apps for their smartphone. They can also download the reference materials like the ready reference cards and handbooks to keep on their computer or to print on their printer at home. Also, our public company website, redcross.org, is where people can register for CPR classes, search for news, register to become a volunteer, 
or seek career opportunities. And the first site I will discuss is the Division 5 resource site. I've logged into it using my LAN account since it's part of the SharePoint internal network. If I scroll down, I'll be able to see the instructor website links that I pointed out on the table earlier. Um, on the right side here, I'll be able to see critical announcements. If I continue to scroll down, I'll be able to see the calendar of events. And over here, I'll be able to see the latest webinar video. As an FYI, Division 5 geographically designates the southeast part of the United States. The Volunteer Connection site allows you to interact with our volunteer culture through an integration of social networking, and it allows you to also track your volunteer hours. You don't need a LAN account to log in. In fact, you can use your Facebook account to get access. Um, and when you log in, although this site is designed to be intuitive, in case you ever get lost on here, there is a link under my chapters on how to use Volunteer Connection. Also, if I go under my profile, I'll be able to make sure that I can integrate with Facebook here. And if I click Shift in Hours, I'll be able to click the green plus sign here to submit my hours that I've done as a an instructor or with any other department. Volunteer Connection doesn't automatically add your hours. You have to go in yourself to um, go ahead and add the hours that you have done as a volunteer. This is important because whenever Red Cross goes out to apply for grants or do fundraising, we'll be able to report the hours that you have done as a volunteer to our donors. The Learning Center is our learning management system which houses all of our classroom activities and records. You can click here if you forgot your password to get into the Learning Center or if you forgot your username you can click here as well. Any other login issues or um, utility issues with the Learning Center you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS which is 1-800-733-2767. Once I log in I'll be able to see under the Home tab a catalog search to search for courses and register as well as my current enrollments. Um, from here I can actually launch any of my online learning. If I click my learning tab I'll be able to see a more detailed view of my enrollments as well as launch or drop courses. If I go under my certifications I'll be able to see my instructor certifications and their validity periods when I acquired them and when they expire. In this section, I'll also be able to see my recertifications. If I am about to expire for a particular certification, I'll be able to register for my recertification in this section. Keep in mind that if you do have an instructor certification, it's going to expire every two years, and you have to do an online recertification test in order to renew it. If you let your recertification lapse, or if you let any of your instructor certifications lapse, then you will have to take the instructor course over again. I'm going to go on to the My Transcript section, which you can search for all the courses that you've taken with Red Cross by putting in the date ranges here. You can also print a certificate of completion for any of your classes. It'll print by clicking Print here um, to your printer as an 8.5 by 11 certification or diploma size certification and also if anybody needs to confirm the validity of your certification they can scan the QR code here using a smartphone and they can confirm that it is valid and pertains to your personal certifications. If I scroll back up here and go to my profile, I'll be able to update any information that may have changed, my address, my email, and also my phone number. If I click the report section, I'll be able to look at two important reports. The American Red Cross Learners Instructor Profile, which is under Resources, and also under Resources, the ARC Instructor Assignments Report. The Learners Instructor Profile is your particular instructor transcript. So it's going to show you all your instructor certifications. So if somebody needs to verify that you're an instructor, you'll be able to click here for that and download and email that to whoever needs to verify that for you. Instructor assignments are all of the assignments that you have taught um, with us as a volunteer. 
And if you hit the email um, button, you'll be able to email it, um, each of the reports to somebody, or you can subscribe to it to get it sent to you periodically. I'm going to click here so you can see what the instructor transcript looks like. It will print or open as what is called a crystal report. And if you want to convert it into a PDF so that you can print it, you can click the print icon here and it'll allow you to open it or save it as a PDF document. Um, once it's opened as a PDF document, you can print it on your printer by clicking print or you can save it so that you can email it to whoever you like or just keep it um, for future reference on your computer. The next site is Instructor's Corner, which is a resource for all literature and visuals needed to teach your courses. You can register by clicking here, New User Registration, or if you forgot your password, you can click here. Once I log in, I'll be able to see all of the course specialties in, this, in these tabs. And if I'm looking for the Lay and Pro programs, I'll be able to see it here on the first tab, First Aid CPR AED, CPR ID for Professional Rescuers, or the Caregiving tag, I'll be able to see the babysitter's training program. So I'm going to expand the lay responder program here so I can show you the format of Instructor's Corner. Here I'll be able to see the instructor resources, including the instructor manual, as well as the course presentation. I highly recommend you download and review the course presentation because it's a PowerPoint style slideshow that integrates all of the video segments as well as the lecture points in one package. Um, you can use a projector and laptop to present the course presentation. You'll also be able to find the participant materials here as well. If I click the Spanish section, I'll be able to find all of the materials for the instructor as well as participants translated into Spanish. If I go into the blended learning section, I'll be able to see the instructor materials as well as the course presentation in the blended learning format. What blended learning means is the participant can take part of the course or the lecture points online and then come in and take the skill sessions in person. So that way it cuts down classroom time. Because this is an abbreviated classroom session, um, you're going to need to use the blended learning supplement, not the full instructor manual to teach it and it has an abbreviated course presentation that only has the skill session. It cuts out the lecture points to reduce the time in the classroom. You can click here under instructor information to get directions on how to teach blended learning. You'll also find a link on this document that will show you um, how to register for what the students see at home. So you'll be able to register for the demo and see all the video segments and interactive uh, content that your participants will see at home so you'll know what they have learned when they come into your skill session. The professional rescuer program is outlined the same way except it doesn't have a Spanish translation. It has the classroom portion and the blended learning content. When to work is our online scheduling system and your training specialist or training scheduler can help you log in to this system and set up an account if you are a new instructor. And one thing that I wanted to emphasize with when to work is putting your availability so that way you're scheduled during the times that you're available. So click choose times I prefer to work. You can set your availability on a daily basis. For example, let's say that I wanna set my availability for a particular date here so I can click that. Um, the times that I prefer to work, I can use the green paintbrush, or the times that I cannot work, I use the red paintbrush, and I just paint, and then I go ahead and save the changes here. If I want to set my availability um, in a monthly view, I can click Set Specific Day Preferences, and again, I can click my color for green for prefer to work, or red if I prefer not to work on that particular day. I can also set my availability to repeat on a weekly basis um, using that link. And also I can set my preferences based on position by clicking Set Position Preferences. The next site is the Red Cross Refresher Center. Please emphasize this to your students that they visit this after they've taken the course because there's a lot of great information on here including 
Team Red Cross Volunteer app, which is a great application for people who are current volunteers like you or those thinking about becoming volunteers. On here, they'll be able to find Knowledge Check by clicking the programs that they have um, registered for and taken. And also, they'll be able to find videos as well as information about um, retail items that they can purchase. As participants are browsing this site, they can download the ready reference cards and handbooks as well as watch all the course videos. Although this site has great refresher information, this is not a recertification site. If somebody needs to recertify in CPR and first aid, they have to register by either logging into redcross.org or calling 1-800-RED-CROSS. Any recertification requires evaluation in person by an instructor. Now for the first knowledge check. Which site will allow me to download a copy of my instructor transcript? A, the Learning Center, B, CrossNet, or C, Instructor's Corner? The correct answer, A, the Learning Center. The next site I will be discussing is the Exchange. This requires a LAN account to access. And this site has information about the different lines of service of the Red Cross, the latest internal organization news, and a slew of reference materials for all departments, and as well as video tutorials. Here is a message from the CEO of the Red Cross or the President of the Red Cross. So definitely take time to browse what is on here. If you ever have technical difficulties, um, you can also go here under Tools and click the IT Service Desk and submit tickets um, to that department. And they'll be able to get back to you um, and be able to resolve your um, technical issues. The ArcMail email site requires a LAN account in order for the, to you to use this. And the email account, of course, is a way for you to communicate with Red Cross clients, staff, and students. You can set it up also to forward to your personal email address. This is what the site looks like. I click here on the bottom, click to access Office 365, and that will take me to the login page where I can log in and read my email. And finally, the instructor library, which has the local resources that you can use to reference local policy and procedures and helpful job aids, as well as handouts for your students. This is a SharePoint site, so it's going to require a LAN account to log in. Um, for example, here you'll see the job aids and how to that will teach you things like how to forward your Red Cross email address to your personal email address and many other job aids and tutorials. Here's a list of some of the other things you'll find on the Instructor Library folder. Um, you'll find blended learning resources, the latest CAP surveys, which are the evaluations that we give to the students, um, in-service information, as well as local resources by territory, <coughs> the job aids that I mentioned earlier, digital certification information, as well as quality assurance forms, and WebEx meeting PowerPoints. Here's the final knowledge check. Where can I refer my students to download the First Aid app, ready reference cards, and watch the course videos at home? A, the Learning Center, B, Instructor's Corner, or C, Red Cross Refresher? If you said C, Red Cross Refresher, you are correct. I hope that you have found this overview helpful. Again, thank you for joining us in our mission to educate our community and save lives. It is a pleasure to have you as part of our team. Bye-bye.